Hi and welcome back to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane, I'm the founder of MyGrow. In this video we're going to do a fairly deep dive into best cobs available out at the moment for grow lighting. In particular we're going to look at the uh, well-renowned Cree CXB3590. We've picked out a, a medium white, a warm white 3500K uh, top in CD, so it's the highest efficiency output of their range uh, for that color temperature. And we're going to look at uh, that one versus the Luminous CXM32 Gen 3, which is the chip we currently use here at Migo. And we're going to look at them first at 100 watts, which is the sort of nominated output for uh, uh, Luminous and what we use them at. And then we're going to compare them at 50 watts and I'm going to show you the PPFD or the power output for each of these lights divided by the amount of watts at the cob and we're going to compare the two together and see how well the Cree does. So just take a closer look here at our setup. So just to verify this is the um, Cree CXB3590 CD top bin. Uh, just got it in from China there the other day. So it's a 36 volt, 2.4 amp nominal, 12,000 lumen minimum uh, LED. I'll just switch off the light here for a second so you can see. <coughs> We've mounted the Cree chip here on the luminous uh, setup. So we've got it mounted inside on the heatsink, um, uh, thermal paste obviously on it, and we are using the same glass lenses with the Cree cob as we are with the luminous cob. So the other parts of the test are we have we are using the. We are testing this now just with the power to the cob. So everything you see in this video is just the power on the cob. It's excluding um, LED driver efficiency, which would be different for different LED light systems. So we're just doing it uh, power to the cob and we're using a dedicated programmable um, direct current power supply. So we can adjust this power supply depending on the LED in question. Uh, to match the wattage output for each LED precisely. So at the end of this comparison that I'm talking over you're going to see a time-lapse video of doing the four different tests on the Luminous and the CX's. You'll be able to see the current, the voltage they were set at and the PPFD output and I've measured it 64 times for each uh, result. So you can see that after this uh, it'll all be available on the time lapse and there'll be a description in the link below with the details and I might even do a blog on the website so have a look in the description. So the first one uh, tested by the way at uh, 30 centimeters hanging height from the underside of the lens to the top of the sensor that's our SQ500. As I said we measured 64 measurements on a 4x4 that's every six inches or 15 centimeters all the way around. And the result for the Cree CXB3590 uh, at 100 watts at the chip, the total output is 184.5 PPFD. You can see it here. So that's the measurements in the center. So the efficiency is the total PPFD output over the wattage 100, which is, so it's 1.85. So that's at a relatively high uh, driving wattage for the Cree. Okay, so we got the um, Luminous CXM32 now. This is being run 100 watt at the chip, which is pretty much exactly what we run it at for the Migro 100. So it's 51 volts by uh, two amps. Uh, it's rated for 2.2 amps, so we actually run the Luminous um, chip at 10% under its rated current just to uh, run it as efficiently and cool as possible. So the output for the CXM32 at 100 watts, same as the Cree, is 211 or 212 PPFD rounded off. 
which is 212 over 100, 2.12 ppfd per watt, so 15% more output uh, with the luminous chip at the same wattage. So the question the last time, uh, did a video similar to this where people were saying, yeah, but the Cree, it's much more efficient at lower wattage. So uh, dropped it both down to 50 watts. And sure enough, the Cree uh, increases significantly. So it was 1.85 uh, ppfd per watt. It increases at 50 watts. So now giving 50 watts gives 104 ppfd. And the efficiency is 2.08 ppfd per watt. So a big improvement from 1.85 to 2.08. Uh, in efficiency, however, Luminous does pretty much the same thing. So, Luminous run at 50 watt. The total PPFD is 118, and the efficiency for that over 50 watts is 2.37, or again, instead of 15% the last time, it's now 14%. So, the Cree has narrowed the gap a little bit, but the, um, the Luminous is still 14% higher output in terms of PPFD per watt. So it's uh, undisputed really, it, it, it beats the top being Cree uh, by a very considerable margin and that's at its driving current at 100 watts and at 50 watts, uh, which is about 60% the Cree um, rated wattage, which is 84 watts I think. So, hope this helps. As I said, all the information is going to be down in the description below. And hang on if you want to see the time lapse of the tests. As always, please leave your comments and suggestions, and we'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Take care. Bye.